uh, Professor Bafua Jimendia, for this instructive um, foundation comments you have made on this matter. And, and look, we cannot continue to do the same things and expect different results. Something definitely has to change somehow. And, and that's the point that you, you, you make quite strongly. And Dujita Makwa has been nodding his head all throughout the period that you have been talking. Because, as he indicated, I don't know how you feel when you wake up and you look into the faces of your children and, and whether you think about the kind of future they're going to inherit if things continue this way in this country. But let me welcome Nano Heninto, former General Secretary of the MPP. He's a senior advisor to Alan Kojo Chamanting. Nano Heninto is also a former journalist. He's, in fact, an ace broadcast journalist um, doing this job that I'm doing for quite a while. Thank you so much, Nano. Good to have you. Most welcome. Thank you. Zamaklo. Yes. Uh, I, I think that uh, <clears throat> this conversation uh, should be put in a proper perspective. Mm -hmm. I do respect the position canvas by Prof. And like Prof himself said, they have been part of this conversation right from the formative days of the current fourth republic. From civil society in shaping the various institutions, in building the various institutions that we need to have a functioning democracy. I strongly believe that the conversation, if properly contextualized, mm -hmm. we will see that the MPP had had the opportunity of producing a president other than Akufuado. That person happens to be President Kufuo. In this current conversation, for the eight years that President Kufo governed this country, he left our first July what it was. He left our seventh, uh, 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 sixth of March what it is. The difference is that Mr. Akufuado comes to power and strongly believes that his family members, his father, his uncle, should be considered as founders of Ghana. It is that emotional familiar connection that he has with these named individuals. That is what is driving what he's doing. And so it is not the typical NDC MPP. Because like I pointed out, the MPP had produced Kufo, who had governed this country eight years. He never changed what 1st July meant for us. It is the person of Akufado and the things that drive him. You see, this whole attempt, right, that with the benefit of executive power, let me rehabilitate my family members, place them on a pedestal, whether deserving or not. That is what is driving the current conversation. And listen carefully. If you listen to Nanado Dankwe Kufuado, he says that he roundly rejects the notion that we have a founder. President Kufo had never disputed that we had a founder of this country. He's never done that. In fact, I recall when President Kufo had the opportunity, he said, look, as far as the MPP tradition is concerned, due consideration should be given to Dankwa and Buzia. And he called them the doyen oh, of our God, current democracy. So he speaks of value. Mm -hmm. He speaks to value. And he believed that the question of human rights, democratic values, and principles, these named individuals elevated them. That is his position. But the question as to who is a founder is a matter that is fairly settled. And I've always maintained, I'm a Christian. Mm -hmm. John the Baptist existed. He, in fact, baptized Christ. But we never refer to him as the founder of Christianity. Mm -hmm. 
the founder of Christianity is no other person but Jesus the Christ. So the fact that your uncle, your father participated in the processes, UGCC, what have you, does it in and of itself make your father and uncles founders of the republic? Certainly no. And that for me is the context in which we need to have this conversation. It is not a typical NDC MPP. It is that drive in Akufado. And you see, it is interesting that the president, and I'll dovetail this into the broader conversation. Mm -hmm. The president has spoken passionately about this book that is all over the place, the Ejapadia document. Mm -hmm. Now, if you look at the mindset behind that Ejapadia conversation, right, it reflects in the things that Nana has been doing. This whole business of elevating his family members to that status is all reflective of his mindset. The mindset is not one that allows you to have a national conversation, even devoid of the typical NDC MPP, what it is. And look, Prof here. He has the benefit of more reading. Once he's a professor, he's a professor. I would never take that away from him. It's not a joke to be a professor of such standing. But what is also not in doubt is that even at the very formative years of the nation called Ghana today, there were some who were clear in their mind that they didn't need Ghana what we have today. In fact, there were so many of them who actually felt that our independence ought to be staggered. So whereas Nkrumah was saying independence now, self-government now, others were saying within the shortest possible time. In fact, others even went as far as to the UK Parliament and put out conversations there to stop the independence struggle. Look, okay. look at how beautiful is it. Yes, we have our economic challenges. We have matters we have to resolve. Mm -hmm. We need to build popular support for hope, growth, and development. But what is also not in doubt is that at least we are not governed by another set of people. And that, for me, is where we need to look at the conversation. Right. It is Akufado's personal drive which is not the NPP position. So how do we put finality to this matter? Because no. as you have indicated, as the NDC says, well, they, you consider this as a mistake. When you come, you rectify no, I think it. H so, so then beyond this. You see, H.E. John Ramani Mahama had made it very clear. First July, the day that we became a republic, how in God's name do you even water down its impact? How do you do that? What would be the motivation to do that? Has President Kufo, who led the MPP in government for eight years, undermined that first July celebration? Never. I am saying that the decision to now make the 4th of August what it is today is the personal drive of Akufuado to rehabilitate his family members. And that we should never take away from the conversation. Okay. I have no doubt at all that possibly a future, 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 future MPP government, a future, future, future one of it, may think of even the, the thinking that H.H. Andramani Mahama has that, look, as for 1st July, it must be what it is. Okay, but in the end, how do we ensure that beyond this situation that we're caught in, we also spend energy, time, thinking about what the next 60 years will look like for us. See, see. And that's what Professor Abafaj meant. No, and, 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 and you that, see, that, you that see, we should, beyond this, yes, as, as indicated, it's, 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 a, it's, see, a, it's an issue when that Prof, we when Prof, when Prof was speaking, I listened, and like you rightly pointed out, I was nodding. Look, when the likes of Professor Kwesibuchi, may he so rest in peace, the likes of Dr. Nimoy Thompson, 
and co put out that 40 year development plan. It was mm. well intentioned. I believe that when Mr. Akufado took over the leadership of this country, it was something that they ought to have continued. And as it were, even if there were challenges, fine tune it and say, this is our national blueprint. As for this, whether NDC or MPP, we are going to go by it. Look, if you look at the U.S., for instance, if you look at U.K., when it comes to their national security matters, it doesn't matter whether you are labor or conservative. Mm -hmm. When it comes to their national security matters, it matters not whether you are Republican or a Democrat. We can get to that point where we all believe that this is how Ghana must be in the next 40 years. The document prepared by the NDC was a document pre prepared on the basis of broader consultation, consensus building. And I strongly believe that Mr. Akufado ought to have just continued mm -hmm. from where Professor Kwesibuchi, Dr. Nimoy Thompson and co. left off. There was no need trying to rewrite it. Our young people, the young people of this country, needs hope. We should not get to the point where the conversation is elevated that a Dutch passport is better than a PhD. We shouldn't get to that position. We should get to the point where you can be in Ghana, grow, develop, build yourself, contain a certain aspiration to be whatever you want to be. Mm. I just want that Ghana 